Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. It's time to finally get going on those web frames. I know we've been talking about it for a little while. We got all the notches in place. Everything is ready to go. The sides, they can come out of clamps now. So we'll get these out of the way and we'll go ahead and start cutting the parts for the web frames. Okay, I've got my sled set up. I have a stop block put in it and I've set the height of the blade. I'm just gonna notch out for those notches that we put in the legs so that these all fit in there nicely. Okay, so I got all the parts cut. Then I just set up kind of a little jig, if you will, on the, uh, on the bench. Just clamped in a couple of, of side runners and a stop block so I can use the domino. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get all the dominoes cut on those pieces. Okay, so there's all the web frames glued up. I'm gonna just go ahead and let those cure overnight. And tomorrow morning I'll get those cleaned up. Some of them have a little lip on them and whatnot. So we'll get that stuff cleaned up and then uh, working on our first dry fit of the whole carcass. There it is guys, all standing up, uh, ready for a glue up. I am gonna spend a little time doing some sanding, getting into those areas now that I can't get into later. Um, and then I'll go ahead and, and get this glued up. This is, this is gonna be a challenging glue up. There's, there's a lot there that has to go together all at the same time. Okay, I'm gonna use epoxy for my glue up here, just so I get a little extra working time. And as usual, it's West Systems, and I'm using the slow set activator on this one. Okay, so I just think we'll let that uh, cure up for a while. It's dead on square. Okay guys, well I screwed up a little bit and forgot to put the center divider in when we did the carcass glue up. So it's okay. Um, you're never gonna see these screws anyway. So I've got screws in here holding the center divider in and then I've got a domino in here uh, for the, the long runner where the glides will mount and then I just screwed on a bottom plate in there to tie it all together. And of course, there's a couple of screws in the bottom in the back here as well. So all in all, it's not going anywhere. Adds a little rigidity to the case. Um, and that'll work just fine. Okay, so while the case takes all the time it needs to cure, um, I'm going to go ahead and divert my attention a little bit to the tops and start getting this stuff roughed out. You see I've marked some, uh, some rough lines here on the wood. So I'm just gonna start getting this stuff broke down and get it ready to go.
I got a grain match here that looks good to my eye. So we're just going to go ahead and get this glued up. Alrighty, there we go. So we got the top all glued up and we'll just let that cure up tonight along with the carcass and uh, we'll get after flattening this out tomorrow. Okay guys, well I took it out of clamps this morning and it's got just ever so slightly of a high spot in the middle. I don't know whether I clamped it too tight or, or what the deal is. It's not a great deal off, you know, maybe a sixteenth or so, but I'm just going to go ahead and take that to the drum sander and knock that out. Uh, the drum sander is the only thing I have big enough to uh, to go ahead and knock this off. I'm just going to mark it all up with pencil lines first so I know where I've sanded and where I have it. And we'll go ahead and get her flat. Okay, so now I'm set up with 80 grit in my Rotex and I'm just going to get rid of the uh, drum sander marks. Okay, so next up I'm going to use the uh, track saw to get a square edge. I've clamped my uh, guide on here and squared it up. I've squared off of this edge so everything I take from here on will be based off of this edge. So, right now all I want is square. Okay, I set up the track again. This was just too wide to fit in my sled and really too wide for my table saw. So, set up the track saw again. Again, double checked everything for square and it appears to be dead on. So we're just going to go ahead and trim that to length. Okay, so I'm going to go for a quarter of inch reveal on the top. I'll mark that on, on both sides here. Just to dummy proof it for me. Which means that my angle on the front has got to go this way. On this side it's got to go this way. So uh, we also know we're going to go an inch and a half back down there which will leave me about a half of an inch toward to the leg. I know it's a great shot of my head, but yeah, I think that looks okay. So all I'm going to do is set up a, a test scrap piece and get the saw set up and have a good look at this before we commit it to the top. Okay, so there's a shot of the test cut and I think I like that. Um, hits my quarter inch and it's just a touch shy of my inch and a half in depth, but by the time I get done with the smoothing plane cleaning these up, I think we'll be right there. Okay, so I got my taller fence in here, just give me some extra support. And again, I'm always going to keep the top to the fence and my angle will always be right. Um, so let's go ahead and get these cut and then we'll come back and clean it up with a smoothing plane. Okay, well there's kind of a closer view of what it's going to look like. Kind of happy with that. I'm kind of happy that I left the, uh, the larger overhang on it. Give me more surface space on top anyway. There it is for a little more uh, straight on view. Next up we're going to create the attachment to attach that top to the case. And we're going to do that in the web frame. Okay, so all I'm going to do in the web frame is just drill me a pilot hole. 
And then I'm going to wall that out side to side to give me somewhere around a quarter of an inch of movement to allow that wood to expand and contract. Just like that, and I'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay guys, well we're gonna call that a wrap for this video. We accomplished a lot in this video. I still have lots of hours of some touch up sanding and stuff to do. I haven't actually attached the top yet. There's still a lot more sanding to be done to that. Um, but I'll do that sanding off camera. When we get after it again, we'll start putting some drawers together. Until then, take care guys.